Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm super thrilled to have you here and today we're going to be looking at a challenge lock uh, that came from halfway around the world from Mr. Saspays. Let me flip that around. There we go. And that one is pound zero zero two and it is a focus a silka lock turned into a challenge lock and he calls this one the train job so let's see about getting inside of this thing I won't need those pads on there go and I bet I can use a fairly thick pry bar let's go let's start out with my 50 thousands yeah 50 thousands a little too tight let's go to 40 there we go that works great Okay, let's get that key out of here. We don't need no stinking keys. And trying to decide which one of my picks I want to use. I think I'm going to use this guy here. Okay, let's see if I can pick anything from the bottom first. Okay, and that was pin four. Got a couple clicks out of him. Okay, so back to one. Nothing. Two, nothing. Three, nothing. Another click from four. A little click from five, and I felt a very slight turn on the core. From one, there's a click from two. There's clicks from one. Okay. Just like on the Yale padlocks, I like to jump around back and forth between the uh, warding and the bottom of the lock. But this little pick is a little bit on the thick side. So let me switch up and go with my uh, hybrid swoop here. So that warding right there on the left hand side is actually spinning my picks out of the way. So I want to have to go for a taller, steeper pick. Um, I got a Sparrows 20 thousandths around here somewhere. There it is. So this is a steep hook in 20 thousandths. Okay, that was a little click there. Okay. Definitely getting some clicks out of them.
Okay, you saw that jump into a little bit of a false set there, and I may have been blocking the camera with my finger a little bit. I'm sorry about that. Wasn't looking at the lens as I'm, or wasn't looking at the screen as I'm picking here. Okay, I just settled into a little bit of a deeper false set. Okay, that was pin one. Pin two is all the way on the floor. Little click from three. Alright, so let me switch to a more standard hook and I'll pick from the ledge. This guy is locked up cock stiff here. Uh, no feedback whatsoever. But there we go. I released tension uh, when I pushed up on one. And as soon as I tightened tension back up, it uh, opened. <laughs> I kind of love those accidental opens. I'm sure a lot of us do. But uh, I'll take credit for it since uh, I had a pick in it at the time, right? All right. So let's uh, see what sass piece put in here. Oh, let's use... Let's use a folding tray this time. Okay, I need my spreader pliers. Use a shim. Okay, there we go. Went in there all the way. And I will use a medium sized follower. This is uh, one of the ones that uh, Foxy designed. Okay, definitely see a lot of work on the plug there, so let's go ahead and dump everything out and then take a look. And just make sure I had those laid out just right. And looking here, you can see I've got threads in, uh, if the camera would focus, there we go, I got some. I got different size threads in chambers one and five than I do in chambers two, three, and four. So I used a uh, smaller uh, tap on those. Interesting. They definitely felt different, so uh, mission accomplished. Whoa. That's a standard, but he was under some spring tension. And where the hell did he go? He was just right there. Oh, he actually landed in the tray. Okay, and that was there. But the standard's the one that flew out. I would have actually imagined that it would have been in that way. Hard to tell. I 
Let's go ahead and get the spring out of two. Ah, <laughs> magnetic. And I imagine that, yep, steel pin. Very, very, very fun. I've played with magnets and locks before. And uh, that's a screw. <laughs> I've only come across, I think, one other lock that actually had a screw in it. There we go. And it doesn't look like anything's been done to the top. The plugs are still there. And it looks pretty smooth when I look down inside. So uh, let's go ahead and... <laughs> Take a look at our pins here. If I get them back arranged, there we go. Okay. Sweet. Well, I was going to talk and then uh, the magnet picked up on me again. Just have to zoom in with it on the table, make life easier on me. Alrighty, in chamber one for the key pin, I had a standard. In two, I had both of these pins here, um, but they came out in this order, where this one was above that one. I actually would have imagined it being an extremely tricky job if they'd have come out in reverse where that one was uh, below that one. Uh, but nonetheless, that's how it came out. And that one's got a uh, copper spring on it. <laughs> then in chamber two, I've got a nice serrated. <laughs> that magnet's uh, making life a little difficult, isn't it? Got a nice serrated there in chamber two with a standard above it, a copper spring. I've got this deeply spooled pin here and that was in chamber two and you guys can tell that I've got a magnet above that one it's got a copper spring <laughs> stay all right uh, chamber three uh, was a or chamber four was a standard and it had a screw above it and then I've got a standard and a serrated pin and that one's got a double coiled spring in it um, all in all pretty fun little lock put up a nice little fight it's great pick so sass piece nice job man thanks for the lock i really appreciate it and uh, guys go check him out he's got a youtube channel too um and he makes some picks locks everybody please be safe don't do anything illegal Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you see a lock out there in the wild and you don't have the keys for it, don't stick a pick in it.